All right, so here we are. We are doing another look at, and we're going to look at Gwent, the Witcher card game. Uh, big shout out to my friend Charlie over at Hot Tips for kind of letting me know this game even exists, basically. So let's just start it. Loading profile. Got a bit of a wait here. So I know that there was a patch that just happened last week. So I'll be coming in with a bit of cluelessness as everyone else has. So here we are. Welcome to Gwent. Welcome to the tutorial. Keep in mind, some of these cards are different from their multiplayer versions. If you want to return to this tutorial once you're done, you can launch it from the challenges menu at any time. Continue. Before you start making any reckless wages, perhaps I should refresh you on the rules? We've had a few changes lately. Yeah, I heard something to that effect. Fine, spit it out. The goal of the game is to gather more total strength than your opponent. Huh. Losing already? <laughs> Don't get excited. I have some powerful surprises for later. Saving them. You can see the total strength of your units at the bottom of the screen. Your opponent's total strength is at the top. Hmm. Laid out several cards. Yes, easier to explain this way. Placing units on the battlefield increases your total strength. Makes sense? Right. I shall go first. Each player can only play one card per turn. Each unit can only be played on a certain row or rows. For example, you can play the Fiend on the melee row. Okay. The Ancient Foglet can only appear on the ranged row. And you have to place the Griffin on the siege row. So, melee, range, and siege. Got it. The icon on the left side of each card shows where it can be played. So the little sword thing there. On that card, it's indicating. Now you. Play a card. Any card. Play a unit card now. Do so. Highlight and double press whichever. Enter or left click to drag it onto the battlefield. Wow, any card. I have two of the exact same one. Thank you for the choice. Okay. It's a double press. Oh, double press enter or use. Got it. Okay. Long live it. <laughs> yeah. Feels familiar. I'm winning. <laughs> you played a unit card and its strength has been added to your total. Great. Play your remaining cards in any order. Thank you so much. I'll play this card in any order I choose. Okay, so you can also hover over the card and it shows the stuff on the side. Very nice. Brave trigger. This ability is currently winning. If your opponent is currently winning, okay. Calculated after unit spawns, strengthen. Okay, so this is probably gonna end up doing something after I play this. I'll be winning. I guess not. Not bad to start. Now onto more advanced concepts. Your total strength is higher than your opponent's, meaning you won your first battle. Congrats. Villain Trenton Mirth. If you don't like some of your cards, you can swap them out. Swap up to three cards, four new cards drawn from your deck. This is Mulligan, I believe. Know what? This time, swap out your special cards. I shall tell you about them later. I don't get to choose. You're gonna tell me it? Okay. Swap out the decoy, commander's horn, and first light cards. And Start with that, playing a powerful card, perhaps. Oh, this one. Huh. <laughs> Gotta admit, they made me look pretty good. Play the Gr Geralt card, Witcher, no ability. Damn it! Now watch this. <laughs> Many cards have special abilities. For example, the card Siri is about to lay out will play another instance of itself from her deck. 
Why didn't my card have an ability? Smarting, are we? Then play this and see what happens. Play the Vernon Roke. Oh gosh, I am gonna pronounce all of these wrong. You have to choose which enemy unit to target. This guy. Okay, and it's a melee. The North, Tamari. Damage an enemy of five by five? Well, they're all fours, so that's unfortunate. You reduce unit's strength to zero, which is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Necker. Augroid, no ability. Play your remaining cards in any order. Okay, so what do we got here? We have a Ballista. Deploy damage an enemy by three. Damage an enemy by three. What are this? Uh, deploy all arachnids from your deck. Okay. Um, no ability. Ability. Okay. Um. I play. Alert! To arms! One of these first. I dare say this will be painful. He was about to play Scorch. This card destroys the strongest units on the battlefield. What I just played. Guessing the cards with the gold frames are the best. Perceptive as ever. Gold cards are very special, unless stated otherwise. Gold cards do not. Oh, ab card abilities do not affect gold cards unless they're otherwise stated. Got it. And they are ignored when calculating things like the highest or lowest units. You can recognize golds by the gold frame. I wow. pass if I were you. You have a solid lead. I'll need to play quite a few cards to catch up. Having more cards than your opponent is crucial to winning. Never play more than you need. They must last you for the rest of the match. Remember what Uncle Vesemir used to say? About losing a battle to win the war? Hmm. Not really. You only need to win two out of three rounds. Once you pass, you can't play any more cards that round, while your opponent can continue to play as many as they want. I like pass. I like the coin or hold space. Okay. You're gonna make me do it. I can't. Okay. Okay, so now I have to win the next two. I won the previous round, so I go first in this one. Start of the round, both players draw two cards from their deck. How about that? Seems I've gained the upper hand. You've more cards than I, true. But you know me. I'll not go down without a fight. With more cards in your hand than your opponent gives you a significant advantage, puts you in control of the flow of battle. I got a ballista and I don't know what that is. Choose one card to redraw. Night. Can you over? No? Oh. Okay. Arrow keys apparently needed for that. Deploy. Damage an enemy by five. That seems could be helpful. I guess I'll get rid of a ballista, I guess. Was that one? Boost the unit to the left by two. Interesting. What's this do? No ability. Um, I guess we'll place one of these first. Damage an enemy by two. Um. Go and do that. Um. Long live, etc., etc. You know, you really should pass now. Yeah, I was going to win no matter what. It's yeah, I was thinking I'd do that. More total strength, yeah. Okay. Final round, ready? We've each won once, so whoever wins this round wins the game, the battle, the day. Yeah, best of three. Makes sense. Uh, another ballista. Um, hmm. 
So this is plus six, but it also damages him by three, so it kind of works as a nine in that regard. I think then what I'm going to do is... In that. Okay. Um, let's open with... For Okay, let's see. Consume the unit to the right. Every two turns at the start of your turn, consume the unit to the right. It just destroy something in there. Okay. All right, then. Well, what does that do for it, though? It looks like it doesn't help do anything. It just destroys something. Okay. Doesn't seem terribly helpful then. Let's do a boost. Nice mesh you've got here. Yeah, okay. So my plan initially was to go and then boost it again, but now that would make several of them the same. I don't know if I really want to do that. Actually then, I'm going to do... Fine, you win. Okay. Congrats. Either way, it'll win. Win the round. This is passed. We cannot increase their strength. Well, okay. For the sake of it, I've no just interest gonna... in politics. seriously. You are aware you can stop now, aren't you? Yes, I'm aware I can stop, but I'm gonna zap it anyway. To. Okay. For a basic layout, that makes some sense. Iris. Any last words? Men of Kedwin, attack! Okay. You do best to swap. Hey, not allowed to peek at my cards. Let's see. Um, no ability. This is against some type of monster, was it? I didn't really see too well. Okay, I get it. Can you get out of the way so I can look and see what's happening here? Better? Um, okay. I think I'll uh, just do that. Yeah. I think I'm just going to swap two. I have one last thing to show you. Play this card and you shall see. Okay. See that? That, dear Geralt, was a leader card in action. I only use leader cards once per game, just like any other card. When your leader card ends your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Go on. Your turn. Let your leader lead. Spawn a base copy of a bronze ally on its row. Oh, okay. We... Oh, we have to drag it? What's going on? That's weird. Okay. Men of Something about the controls Attack! are a bit... Being a bit strange. Best game of now watch this. Oh, button up. Weather's about to turn. This weather card will... Weaken units on one row. That I remember. Dang. Yep. Weather effects ignore gold cards. Yep. Yet the weather can be fickle. Catch. Play this. See what happens. Just don't expect me to give you one every time. Clear skies. Yep. Oh. See, the controls about clicking is a bit weird. Clear skies. Like, it says click and drag, but it's not click and drag, it's just click. That's a bit weird. Commander's horn increases the strength. Oh, we're, okay. I got the hang of this. Is that so? Then prove it. Pass and we can begin. Just did. 
Um, turnality hand strength it by three. Let's play a real match. No hints, no handicaps. Um, we'll swap out that guy. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Brave. Deploy. Brave. Strengthen. Self by three. Okay. I don't really... I mean, all of the cards I have seem pretty basic with no insane abilities. So... Um, damage an enemy by five. This could be useful to play and then use the decoy again. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. The North to marry. Oh, it can't use it on gold, right. Right, I forgot about that. Okay, then. Then I will play it on this. And then, just do that. Kill him. Necroid. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Okay, so we're gonna go strengthen. Simplify. Strengthen that guy. Yeah, this is just straight numbers. I could pass and win, but nice mess you've got here. I'm just gonna drop everything just for aye, the aye, sake sir. of it. Any last words? Because I can. Okay. All right. So are we gonna be able to do something a bit more interesting now, or are well we gonna? Played. Who knows? You may indeed have the makings of a Gwent professional. <sighs> Spend enough time in taverns, that's sure. Now oh, come on, another drink, then we hit the road. Master the fundamentals of Gwent. Play challenges, get to know each faction's strengths, and unlock leader cards. Or head to the main menu and check out other game modes. Okay. I'll probably do at least a game of single player. You have been awarded 25 ore. Use it to purchase card kegs from the shop. 50 ore. Purchase card kegs from the shop. 100 ore. Okay. Um, how much are kegs? 25 ore. A creation shop. One keg. What? Okay, 100, I have 175. Okay. Yep. Use K, you buy them with that. Okay. Shoop, won't see what wow wow inside. All right. First, you are shown four cards that came in your keg. Flip them over. Wow! You got a field medic. Choose a different bronze ally. Shuffle it back into your deck. Then play a random bronze unit from your deck. Okay, so it's kind of a swap thingy. Um, Reaver Hunter. Deploy bond or boost all Reaver Hunters in your hand deck. And on your side board by one. Okay, so that does a decent boost everything. When Reaver Hunter Trio is completed, damage the highest enemy by half its power. Rounding down and ignoring armor. Okay. Full 
Nilfgaardian Knight. Okay, so this is a different faction. These blue banners are Northern Realms, and this is Nilfgaard. Right, I'm an infantryman. In three armor. Eh. Okay. No Next, choose one of these three cards. Okay. Um, overdose, remove. So this here is neutral. Red is monsters. I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation. I think it's Scaliga. That's how that's pronounced. The purple. Remove three armor from adjacent units and damage them by three. Okay, so that's decent any armor. Resurrect all your Queen's Guard. Necker. Mm, yeah, Necker. Whenever an ally consumes a card, all this unit is in your hand deck boost. Okay, let's just go with the potion overdose then. Back to shop. Okay. Yeah, let's um do a single player challenge. Fundamentals, did all those. Okay. What's this now? New deck. The deck builder. Here you put together cards and modify existing ones. Okay, new deck to continue. Um, use neutral cards. Let us, I guess, let's just open a Northern Realm, see what happens. I like the leader. Well, I only have one leader I can choose, so makes it easy. It's a collection of the cards I have, filter cards. This is your deck. Yep. Okay. What is... Oh, I can't actually look at it. Shoot. Maybe I should have read it better on the previous screen. Can I go back? Okay, now let's add a highlight card. Shoot, I don't know what this guy does. Um... Oh, okay. Let's... Speed things up. Usually, we'll fill in the remainder of your deck. Usually, though, you'll choose other decks for yourself. Okay. Alright. Let's remove a card from your deck. Highlight a card and press enter. This card counter, it helps you construct valid decks. Your deck limitations. Okay. Save and exit. Okay. Alright, so that's not actually... didn't really build one, actually. Okay, so that's what this is. Uh, boost all loyal bronze and silver units in your hand and deck by one. Okay, that's good. Tutorial complete. Alright. Yay. What says? Card crafting. Okay. Can use this menu, you went after level 3. You can mill unwanted cards. Okay, so this is where we can look at all of our cards. Cool. Grayed out, we don't have it. Up to three copies of each bronze card, but only one copy of each gold or silver card. If you collect more copies than that, use the mill. Okay, get scraps. Filters. Top of the screen, switch to look through all the stuff easier. Got it. Okay, all right. Much more advanced filter search, got it. Remain visible even after... Okay. A few scraps to start to build a card, got it. 30 scraps. Cool. Okay, it's gonna force me to craft one of these. Okay. I don't really want to, but... You're gonna make me. All right. Are you sure? No, but you're gonna make me do it anyway. So let's continue forward. You crafted. It's been added to your collection. Yep. Transmute and change the way it looks. Okay. To a premium version. You have a bit of dust. Win multiplayer mill cards you don't need. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna make me do it. 
All right, so that makes it... Okay, so that just gives it an animated uh, window rather than a static image. Got it. Cool. All right, so that seems pretty simple so far then. Let us... Steel skin, what's this? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Let's just jump in and do something then. I have a feeling like these are probably the exact same uh, deck. But so, I mean, let's just jump in, I guess, with the starter one, and see what happens. I'll go to unit lock. Okay, yeah, let's see what this, how this goes. Do not test my patience. Close ranks! Oh, he's Northern Realms. I thought it was that they wanted me to play it. Okay. All right, well, we have a mirror match then. Um, what do we got here? Damage unit by seven. Choose a different bronze alley, play a copy of it. Damage a random enemy by one. Um... Deploy gain three armor. That just means damn they the armor will take damage instead of them. Hoggle the units lock. That seems like it could be useful if they maybe not against I don't I don't know too much, I guess. Um I guess yeah, let's let's do that. Let's see what happens. Okay, so coin flip means he goes first. Add two armor to units adjacent to this unit. Okay. Whenever this unit's armor reaches zero, boost self by five. Or at the start of your turn. Okay. I guess. I'll start by doing that. Okay, so that ignored armor. I don't think I have damage unit by seven. Hmm. So I probably should have actually opened with this. It just says do that does this only in your hand and deck, not what's out on the field. Shoot. Okay. Well, I'll play it now. Crush those vermin. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. What did that? Why did it die? I don't understand why. What just happened there? Yeah, I don't understand what happened. Okay. Oh, it's still my turn. Hmm. Awaiting your orders. Probably, did, I probably messed up something then. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to win this. start boost it's adjacent uh, yeah I'm just looking at the the spread of things we have best give up now try them 
This unit has armor at the start of your turn. Boost adjacent units. Shoot. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass this. I don't think I can win. Reaver Scout, choose a different bronze alley, play a copy of it. Play a bronze special card from your hand if you do so. I don't think I have a... Okay, so that's the special then. Okay. So that could be... Okay. Damage unit by five. Strengthen, deploy, strengthen by... Okay. Um, actually... Let's toggle you out. Ugh. Two armor, two units adjacent to this unit. Man. Um. Hmm. Actually, I might just do this now then. My studies are more important than this. Just get rid of it now. What's that do? Boost. Five adjacent this. units by four. I don't think that I'll be able to do anything useful for that. Okay. Well, I already got my main use out of that. Hmm. Redania! To arms! Do a rally, see what we get. Okay. What was that? Boost unit by eight. Oh man. Um. Shoot. Deck. I don't really have any bronze cards. Shoot, I didn't think that through very well. Whenever this unit's armor reaches zero boost by five, that's not terribly helpful. Hmm. Damn it. Get this over with. Oh, man. Oh. Shoot. Crap. If I pass, then he passes, then he's won, so I have to play. Mmm. That sucks. I think I'm gonna keep him and then just play this guy. Shoot. I told you so, you idiot. Long live the king! Ugh. I think I might. I don't think I'm gonna. I might not win this one because of that. This is gonna depend on what I draw. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I need to... <laughs> it's not going to be helpful. I 
I guess I'm gonna do this guy, Ben. I'm itching for that battle. Shoot. See what he's drawn. Oh, I got super lucky though. Oh, I got super lucky there. Okay, so I know that there are a lot of a lot of uh, different factions on this, and. It seems like it could be a really interesting strategy game to get into. Um, I, as I'd mentioned before at the start of this video, uh, my friend Charlie Pryor over at Hot Tips, you can find a link to him there, um, he's been playing this for the last several weeks since it's been an open beta, and he was doing a, climbing the ladder, playing Skeledex, Skelgadex, and now he's uh, messing with, um, I believe it was Monster and Northlands could be mistaken about that but yeah if you like this game it is absolutely free for you to play um you can get it at playgwent.com so if it seems like it's something to be interested in go and get it try it out i think it can be a lot of fun i am going to spend quite a bit of time messing around inside this and seeing how things go oh if you enjoyed watching this you know do do stuff to let me know that you enjoyed it um have a good day